aims and results. Good morning. I am Dr. Vipul Pama, second year resident. Uh, my today topic is etiological assessment of splenomegaly in children clinically and radiopathologically method. Uh, you can just speak out. Doesn't matter. You have power in your point. You don't need a PowerPoint. Carry on. Aims and objective. The study aim is to study occurrence of splenomegaly in hospitalized children. To study clinical presentation of splenomegaly and correlate with etiology of the same. To study laboratory and radio, radiological investigation in splenomegaly and correlate with etiology of same. Result. In present study, one year study duration and out of 3386 total admission in the age group 1 month to 14 years, 90 patients have splenomegaly. Important results only, not age and sex. Distribution of case according to a classification the most common grade 1 and 2 in mild splenomegaly at 62 percentage. Distribution of cases according to symptoms, most common symptoms is fever, cough, edema, difficulty in breathing. Uh, associated positive examination finding in case of splenomegaly is failure, hepatomegaly, icterus, and malnutrition and lymph node enlargement. According to etiology, most common cause is enteric fever, then hepatitis, viral fever, malaria, pneumonia, dengue. Hematological hemoglobinopathy, nutritional anemia, malignancy, autoimmune hemolytic anemia. Conclusion: Splenomegaly is most common condition. Is common condition. So we have done this study to diagnose various causes of splenomegaly in tertiary core hospital. Most common causes are infectious disease and hematology. Hematology, hemoglobinopathy, and nutritional anemia are found. Consistency of spleen and the clinical relevance. Consistency of the spleen and the clinical relevance. Importance of the consistency. Form. What does it signify? A form soft, in, soft in malaria, headache uh, fever, consistency, and the probable etiology or probable process going on.